Hi lovely people, hello I am, I'm in Gem Italian in Sao Paulo. Yes, I'm gonna cook this fantastic rabbit with the pumpkins. Yes, rabbit pumpkins, you hear me right. I got this fantastic rabbit, which are lovely fresh. You can act your butcher, it will get the rabbit ready for you, also deboned as well. It's about 300 grams of rabbits, and I got about 100 grams of a pancetta, thyme, carrots, onions, celery, and the chili, yes. But most of all, let's not forget pumpkins, which I cut them in small cubes. You make sure you deseed it. Some people are allergic of seed and nuts, so pumpkins, they're not very, very good pumpkin seeds. So this particular one is look like an onion. Do you know what? It's actually called onions pumpkins. It's so sweet, so good. But you can use any kind of pumpkins. Also, butternut squash is fantastic. I got Vincenzo here, which is helping me today. He said, Gennaro said, chef, can I be in a video? I said, yeah, of course you can. First of all, we need some very good olive oil. Just about two tablespoons of olive oil. Pancetta, straight in. Rabbits go straight in. I put them inside pancetta. The reason why, because the rabbit is very lean meat. So you need a kind of little bit of fat to get inside to help it, to give it a fantastic flavor. At this stage, go in with the celery, onions, carrots, and the whole twig of thyme. Got chili. Just put them all in. Look at that, it's all nice and still. Now it is time for the pumpkins. It's about 250 gram. Season a little bit. Little pepper for spice. At this stage, we go in with the wine. The wine, you drink it, the wine, you use it. The alcohol will evaporate and the beautiful flavor of wine goes inside. I need to get some stock because we need to put some stock inside. So here, I made a lovely stock with the skin of the pumpkins, onion, celery, everything I used. Just pick some up. Stir it nicely. Do you know what? Gem Italy, we don't have any lids. So I just cover one of this and slowly, 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 let cook for about 35 minutes. Fantastic. Look at that. All the pumpkin dissolved and coated all the lovely rabbits. All the onions, celery and carrots, they dissolved it as well and they embraced the rabbits with such pleasure. And the times, look, lost all those beautiful leaves, which just the stalk is here, so easy to remove it this way. Here I made some fantastic polenta, it goes so well with the rabbits. If you wanted to see how to make polenta, just click at the end of the video. So let's plate it. This is would be enough for about two people. I need to grate some parmesan. Oh my, my, so good. I fried some lovely sage leaves. It's fantastic. Here, I have some crispy sardinian bread. Just put them on the side. Little touch of olive oil. Look at this. Look at that beautiful juice. Full of the flavor. Do you know what? It's better time now that we taste it. But before that, I'm going to call some of the chef. Vincenzo! Taste it. Taste it slowly, slowly, slowly. Mm. It is so delicious. Do you agree? Amazing. What do you mean? You look amazing. Amazing. I love the world of amazing. Rabbit with pumpkin served on homemade polenta. If you want to see me making all these fantastic dishes, don't forget to subscribe. It is free. Let's cook it all together and let's enjoy it all together. From Gem Italian in St. Paul. Arrivederci.